Raiders, and he washed out because his dad wanted it more than yep. he, more than he did. You aren't going through force of will. You are not going to get your kid into the pros through your own force of will. No. They have to want it. As much as we got sick of seeing LeVar Ball on TV, his boys wanted it. They didn't want it. They wanted it for themselves. He was my businessman. Like, you can't, the guy has two kids in the NBA. Right. <laughs> he did it. The door or not. I mean, that's successful. It is just, but those boys also earn. You don't walk into the NBA because somebody's talking for you. Right. You still have to. You still have to play the game. Right. You're not going to bully this kid into being the player that you want him to be if they don't have it within yeah. them. I was kind of saying, is this something you want to do? Yeah. Hey, son. Hey, daughter. Is this something you want to do? I'm asking you again at the end of the week. You don't like. You're really. You missed three mandatory workouts. Is this something you really want to do? Nah, I'm actually cool. Yeah. Now I know. Now I know. We it's, talked to the friend of ours this morning. Her son's waking up at five in the morning. Yep. Get up, let's go. Mm-hmm. Let's go work out. Let's go. I got I got workouts. I got to be there at five in the morning. Yep. It's summertime here. Kids are out of school. He's up and getting it done. Yep. That's the kind of dedication the grind the kid's going to have to have, and it's got to be motivated by them. Now, leading up to it, seventh, eighth grade, yeah, you might have to push them a little bit. Yep. But once they get to the high school level, if they want to play, they're going to be the ones pushing the action. Right. You cannot do it for them. Right. It's um, not going to work through force of will. I, I, I used to tell my kids, I used to get a warning, like, hey, listen. I used to tell you, it's like, do you want grandma and everybody to come to the game and see you on the floor or not? Tell me now. Right. Like, tell me now. If you haven't been working hard on this, <laughs> like, I'm like, come to the game, like, you should probably be on a freshman B game if you have worked hard. You know, if you have not, you're still not playing at a freshman B level. I don't know if I want to go. And, right. and you might need to look at another sport. You know, there are other sports out there. If you want to play sports, basketball ain't the only world out there. And here's the reality. Basketball, so- like we're talking about for younger kids, basketball and soccer have some similar skill sets that do translate. Soccer. Go, You can go play soccer. If you're a soccer player and it ain't working for you, and you got a little bit of a handle, you might want to look over and see what your basketball team is doing as much as soccer players. So mm-hmm. – the skills do translate, but again, it goes back to checking in and being realistic with yourself and get in where you fit in. Right. If the coach needs you to be this kind of player and you are stubbornly like, well, I'm this kind of player, man, right. you're not going to win it through force of will. Either you got to try to be the kind of player the coach wants to be or you got to go find another school. Yep. So, um, again, we are still, we're still open for questions, but we're going to be wrapping this thing up. I am praying that our first segment got recorded with audio. If not, you're going to see our smiling faces here again next week to lay it down because there was a lot of gold in there. And realistically, that might give us a practice rep so that we can come back and really laser in on that conversation. Right. Because that was a good conversation that we had, and I did enjoy that piece of it. So that's what we're presenting. We're having tryouts for our fall and winter programs. I do have to put this caveat in there. If you're going to participate in our fall and winter programs, I need you to understand this. We are a development program. We are not just a team for you to show up and play basketball. We expect that you show up to our academy sessions them twice a week. Yep. We have speed and agility night at academy, which is on Tuesdays. Speed and agility sessions on the weekends. Sometimes the weekend ones don't go because we might be on the road. But the Tuesday ones are are steady ones. So we're looking at it. If you want to try out for the team, we would love to have you. You have to be willing to work and develop and become a better player by showing up to our academy sessions. You're going to have a practice session for your individual team probably once weekly. And for the first month or two, We're going to expect you to come speed, agility, and conditioning so that we can make sure that you have the footwork and the endurance to play this fall and winter. The program works. Right. So, like, every blue moon, I'll get the one person that I feel and I do and I feel and I'm, I'm, I'm open to listen to you, but for, like, a second because then I look around like, it's worked for several years. So, you know, we're not saying we're not open to feedback. We're very, very open to feedback. But 
it's really hard to take feedback when you don't show up to you anything. Don't show up to anything. Well, and it's from the old personal trainer world. Coach Mo's heard this yeah. before. It's very hard when you get the special butterfly that there's nothing works for them. Yeah. Oh, I tried. You know, I have a weight. I have a weight loss goal. Well, I didn't. And it, I tried to restrict my calories. It doesn't work for me. My metabolism sucks. I got this. I got that. I got other things going on. I showed up to all the academy sessions and showed up to all the other sessions, and I didn't get better. Really? It's, that do, It doesn't work like that. If you show up if you show up and show out and do the stuff that we're asking you to do, you're going to get incrementally better. Now, if you're not practicing outside of here, right. you're not working outside of here, you're not watching games outside of here, there's a ceiling on how much you're going to advance. But if you do the things that we ask you to do, our system has been in place for eight years. We've helped a lot of kids become better players. we got kids right now that are getting looks from all over the city and other teams are wanting them. And when they came to us, they had a very loose understanding of how basketball was played. And now one very specific young man, he's playing up. Yeah. And he is one of our best players. And he absolutely showed up to everything, showed out to everything, and he developed. Simple. You know, right about some of our players when they get to high school, footwork, oh. speed, you know. If you do the stuff <laughs> we're asking you to do, the goal is you're going to be a better player. But if you only do part of it, you're not going to bake the same cake with half the ingredients, right? right. right? So I don't know why people think that they're going to not do the things that have been successful for everybody else. Mm-hmm. But it's just not successful for you. And a lot of times it's look at what your inputs are. Are you putting the right thing in to get the result out? Well, if you're not putting the same inputs in, if I type in different numbers into a calculator and hit the plus button, I'm going to get a different sum at the end of the time. Right. But if we're all putting in the same numbers in the same intervals and pressing plus, we're all going to get the same numbers. We're going to get the same outputs. Right. If you're not putting in the same outputs, you can't expect to win. So what kind of outputs are you putting in? What kind of effort are you putting in? We have a structured program to do it. We're not the only option. Right. But we do have a structured program that has proven to be successful for a lot of players that come through. And so for us, it's a matter of making sure that we are making sure the inputs are right to get the outputs that you want. So that's what we got. I'm Brian. Let's go to Tryouts for our fall and winter programs are on June 28th. I posted the link. You should see the link in the comments. I'm going to star it, so hopefully it pins it to the top of the comments. We'll see you there. That's all I got. I'll talk to you all later.